So, just another really quick video about Virtual D-Day 2026 and a change that's been made to how the licensings work or maybe the uh, this result of the licensing if you're an existing user. So, I don't think this has been discussed a lot yet. So, I think we should have a look at it because it might affect some existing user, I'd say. So, let's have a look. So, um, let's look at the current public versions first because that's, the, of course, the 2025 one and that's this thing. So this is the last one of those. I don't want to log in because I want to actually look at the license pane here. So I'll just do that. So this one, what the license pane is looking like. And uh, it's been, done that, uh, been like that for a while, right? So it's just 2025 down here, 8909. Uh, that's going to be the final one of uh, 2025. And uh, it will list my licenses here if I were logged in. And if not, I can uh, buy a, 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 a a subscription model for $19 per month, or I can fly flat out by uh, the infinity model here, right here, right? So uh, have it forever. And then if I am uh, only at home, uh, then I can, of course, just, just close this and play. Uh, then it's the free version, then it won't work with any hardware. Or I can pick one of the cheap, cheaper uh, controllers down here. So not pro controls, but maybe like a Reloop body or something like that, and then I can get a cheap home uh, license for maybe like fifty dollars or ninety nine dollars. It differs with different ones. So that's what I've been able to do right now, and that's only supposed to be used for home use, just like it's only supposed to be used for home use if you don't use a license at all. So simply just close this and play, right, without any hardware. So that's the current options, and then let's move on to twenty twenty six. So that's this one down here. 8950, that's the current early access release. Uh, again, I don't want to go in here because we want to look at this stuff. And now it looks like this, so it has changed. So what has changed? Well, you can still get the the $19 per month one, the pro version, or you can get the business license that I didn't mention before. So that's a $99 month, a month and that's for, um, for DJ companies, so bigger setups where you have people working for you and stuff like that, and you have like a, a phone number 24-7 you can call and stuff. But most people are probably going to go with this Pro version. And it doesn't have a 299 one listed here. Not sure about that. I think that's still going to have that. So let's just click it. So it actually jumps onwards to payment. Well, we can watch it here. So at least on the website, you can still get the uh, uh, the, the Infinity version here. Don't, don't look at the actual amount. It's just because it converted to my local currency. But uh, you can get the... Uh, uh, the regular Pro one, $19 a month, or the $99 uh, business one. But you can still buy this. I assume they're going to keep that. Um, I haven't seen that they won't. Um, but the interesting part, maybe, is if I move, if I look over here and look here, the Virtual DJ Home version cannot be used in public, just like before, so nothing has changed. Uh, but now it says ideal to learn DJing at home with entry level DJ controllers, same as before. Uh, so again, this costs something, but it's uh, it's but it then works with the controller. And uh, this one over here, uh, if I just close it, it, doesn't work with a controller. So that's that's the thing. But it has to have a new cost. You can actually get that now on and a subscription for four dollars a month. That's new. Uh, you didn't used to, uh, to be able to do that. So that's new, that may, may be a, a positive thing. But if I click this, then this screen shows up the first time. And maybe the most important part is the one here with the eye, the virtual DJ audio sample will still be heard with home. So if you, even though you pay for this, if you take it out of the house with your cheap uh, controller, you will occasionally hear an audio saying virtual DJ. That's new. And I still some think, even though they're not supposed to take it out of your home uh, with a home license, I still think some people will bump into this when doing a gig. could also be that you're just doing some background music at some place, so you don't really need uh, any hardware. So you just don't just turn it on, just, don't really need to sign in, and maybe bad Wi-Fi or whatever. So, oh, just let it play. I'm not going to use it with a controller tonight. You may not want to do that, but it'll cost, it'll say, virtual DJ. Uh, out of the speakers once in a while. So that's probably bad for business. So this is definitely something you should look into. And that actually, let me say, like I said, it hasn't really been mentioned much. It's on, it's on the web page. The, the, uh, they, they have indeed uh, 
told us about it. So if we go in here, this is the post from the CEO saying that small audio drop just saying virtual DJ will play from time to time if you don't have a pro license. So that's also for the controller license, as far as I can tell. So that's going to be interesting see if some people bumps into this. So that's definitely something you want to look into if you uh, are just using it without a license occasionally because you don't need to sign in for what you're doing or if you actually have a, uh, a controller license, a uh, controller home license and you uh, and you plan to, to produce that in front of people, uh, just know that you will have this little audio saying virtual DJ once in a while that you didn't used to have in virtual DJ 2025.